Hi, it's Nat here from Studio Hacks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can export a single track of audio from GarageBand, and you can use this to export every single track if you like, or just one uh, track in particular. Uh, another term for this is called um, exporting stems or getting the track outs for um, a song. And this can be very handy if you have a song that you have created in GarageBand and you want to open it up in another digital audio workstation such as Pro Tools or Ableton Live. And this is also a handy way of taking audio from one GarageBand session and putting it into another GarageBand session. Now it is possible to select a bunch of regions or uh, regions on a track and hit copy uh, and then open up the another session and then hit paste. But I've had a lot of problems with the regions ending up on the wrong track and in the wrong place. And I've got a much simpler, easier method for getting audio out of GarageBand and putting it into a different GarageBand session or a different digital audio workstation. So it's very simple. Um, in this particular case, I have four tracks of vocals that I would like to export out of this uh, session here, which is an early draft of a song I was working on. And I want to import them into a more finalized session that I've been working on that no longer contains those vocals. I want, I've decided that I want these vocals in the song. Um, so these bottom four tracks are the ones I want to export. So it's very simple. All you do is uh, you, you have to do this track by track. I select the track I want to export and I hit the little uh, icon here, which is this solo icon, which is the set of headphones. That means we will only hear this one track. And before I export it, it's best if I uh, get the volume of this track and slide it back to 0.0 dB, which is also known as Unity. If it's panned left or right, it's best for, uh, we need to pan it to the center. We just want to make sure it's exported at, at unity volume in the center. And we want to make sure there are no effects on there, no master effects uh, or track effects, because this is this will export everything that's on this track, the sound and the effects. So to check if there's any effects that I've put on there, I select the smart controls and then this should under the track and the controls, if I have both of these selected, which should be the default. I want to make sure under the little plugins menu right here that I don't have anything on there uh, that I don't want in the sound. Now, if I want to export them with these effects on there, that's fine. But you'll see I have master echo and master reverb. So I want to uh, make sure that they're deactivated. And I'm going to deactivate all these other things because I do just want that raw audio. And you can see up the top here, I have the cycle region switched on. So I'm going to use this as a way to tell uh, GarageBand where I want this uh, stem to start and where I want it to finish. So I'm going to make sure that that is hard up against the very start, that it can't go any further. And that's the way I'm going to make sure that all of my stems start at the right point. From here, it's as simple as going share and then selecting export song to disk. And then I want to select where they are going to go. In this case, I'm going to pop them on my desktop and I can click this little uh, down arrow here to bring up the normal finder window because I'm going to create a folder called uh, audio stems. And this is vocal stem one and the song is called The Fool. Okay, I think this is the lead vocal, but I'm just going to call it vocal stem one, two, three, and four. Now you want to make sure that you do not export this uh, under a lossy format, such as the Apple Audio Codec or MP3. We want to select an uncompressed full quality, either an AIFF or a WAV. Um, if you're unsure, I always just go with WAV because that seems to be one of the more universally accepted. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of industry people just go with WAV. Uh, so the other thing I want to do is make sure I have a tick under the export cycle area or length of regions if cycle is turned off. If we don't have this on, it might not start from the very start of the song, which, which is what we want. So when I hit export, it's going to export this as a stereo WAV file. Unfortunately, there's no way 
to bounce out the stems um, as mono. Um, there's, you know, GarageBand is an, seen as an entry level digital audio workstation. So it does lack some of those high end advanced features that you would expect um, from the high end digital audio workstations such as Pro Tools, Logic Pro X, uh, which is kind of the next step on from GarageBand and Ableton Live Studio One. So I am going to now close this session and open up the session that I want to import uh, this audio into. So this is this one right here, this GTA type beat. So I had continued to work on the track without the vocals and now I've decided that I do want the vocals in there for a different version. So what I want to do is now create an audio track first where I'm going to bring in uh, the vocal stem. So I'm going to go to track, select new track and select audio. So now I have the track there. Now I usually make sure that with this green arrow here, the screen dot that I'm minimized. So I have the ability to drag and drop audio from the desktop because I did create a file on the desktop somewhere. Okay, I can see what I did there. I created that audio stems folder uh, under the root directory, not on the desktop. So let's just move it there and I should be able to find my file now. Here it is right here. So I can effectively just drag that from where it is into the session and make sure it goes all the way to the start. And then now you can see there that that matches up with this song and it's the same beats per minute. I haven't really changed the, the beats per minute or the length of the song or anything like this. Uh, I just wanted to bring in those vocal stems. So I will then go back to the original song and do the exact same process uh, for the other three stems. And I can bring it in the end, I'll have four nice vocal stems into this session. And in the same way that I imported them uh, into here, it's very easy to do the same thing into any other digital audio workstation. I could uh, export um, all the tracks if I liked, and then drag them in one by one uh, or as a batch into a program like Ableton Live. Now, unfortunately, there is no easy way or no you know batch conversion way to export all of the tracks at once. And you do have that option uh, in some other programs, but I've just got Ableton Live here. I'll show you. It's just as simple in Ableton Live to then drag that vocal stem in. So if I did have um, the stems for the entire song, I could drag them in and continue working in this next digital audio workstation. So that's the simple way to export a single or multiple tracks of audio from GarageBand, also known as stems or trackouts. I hope you enjoyed the content and I'll see you in the next video.